Hey YouTube, Cactar here. Got a deck for sale. It's a Morphing Jar FTK OTK deck. I am looking for $60 for the deck. It does not include the sleeves. Those are $2 extra. And then shipping is $5. So six, pretty much a $67 for the deck. I will, however, take about half of the total price in cash and in cards. So yeah, um, I am slowly getting out of the game. It's a slow process, but I am getting out of it. I will be keeping one of my decks, and that's pretty much it. I'll be making decks, too, to sell. Pretty budget, about less than $100 for decks I'm going to be making. So, yeah, first one is this Morphing Jar deck. I will be explaining it right now. Uh, one Morphing Jar, pretty much why it's called Empty Jar. Um, pretty much just mill your opponent off. That's how you win. Uh, three Needleworm does exactly what Morphing Jar does, except you don't deck it yourself out with Needleworm. So, yeah. Uh, 380 Changer, with the release of this card, it's, this deck is way better. It's pretty much your Book of Taiyu. So, yeah, very good. And he actually targets face down defense monsters, so if you have your Needleworm face down, remove 80 Changer, flips it up, it gets its effect. You can check the ruling on that. Two Giant Rad, a Battle Searcher, just search your Morphing Jar Needleworm, or Morphing Jar 2. Morphing Jar 2 acts like another Morphing Jar, and it clears fields of monsters. So yeah, in case you don't get your Morphing Jar off. And one Sangan, Battle Searcher, for your Morphing Jar or Needleworm. Pretty much anything in this deck. Less than 1500 attack. So that's it for Monsters on the spells. Three Book of Taiyu flips face down, Monsters face up. Book of Moon flips face up, Monsters face down. Book of Eclipse does the same thing what Book of Moon does. And uh, with Book of Eclipse, during the end phase, all the Monsters flipped face down on your opponent's side of the field are flipped face up and they draw one card for each Monster flipped up. So it's more mil it's more draw for them, but the whole point of, your, of this deck is to mill your opponent's whole deck off so they lose. Three upstart goblins, draw power, you really don't care about life points in this deck. Two shallow graves, recycles your needle worms and your morphing jar. You want to flip and face up to deck your opponent out. Two magical mallet, recycles dead hands, sometimes you draw all spell hands, and yeah, that's that gets rather annoying, so this card recycles it. Two Feather of the Phoenix to put cards back on top so you can draw into it with your Morphing Jar or your Upstart. So, yeah, very good. Very it comes very well if you know how to do it. Two Hand Destruction dumps your 80 changers and lets you draw and lets your opponent draw too so you can deck them out faster. Two Magical Slow and Excavation recycles your books. So, yeah, good card. Dumps your 80 changers as well and other cards you don't need. Monster Reborn, standard staple. Foolish Burial dumps your AD Changer, or your Morphing Jar, so you can play Shallow Grave. And one card destruction, um, yeah, I don't really need to explain that. And then three Threatening Roar, just in case you can't FTK or OTK. So yeah, it just stops attack, and it's chainable, so yeah. So that's it, that's the whole deck. Tell me what you guys think. This deck is $67. I will, be I will take cards, though, up to about 30 bucks worth of cards and 37 worth of cash. So yeah, and hit me up with a message if you're interested in purchasing this deck. And a couple rules, I do not send first. I am trusted, 60 plus trusted traders, and I don't scam. I've been scammed before, so I understand. So yeah, um, this is Cactar. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Oh, one more thing. Um, if this deck does sell, the next deck I will be selling, the Black Wings, so yeah, when I finish that deck, I will post it up for sale. It's going to be fairly budget. It's just going to be a standard Blackwing deck. So that's it, and thanks for watching, YouTube. Peace.